Hey guys, have you ever been out to eat with somebody who, when it's time to pay the bill, always has to run to the restroom? Today, we're going to talk about how being cheap can destroy your life. Stick around. We're going to get right into it. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Ted Shuttlesworth Jr. and I'm giving you truth for life. I wanna thank you so much for watching again today. And listen, if you like my channel, enjoy my videos, I want you to subscribe. And for every person who does, I'm gonna send you my free ebook on 40 days to overwhelming joy. So today we wanna to talk about how being cheap can destroy your life. You know, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs that someone who gives freely or is generous will become prosperous, but the person who is stingy or holds back will lose everything. It is so important to understand that generosity is a mirror of the nature and the person and the image of God. God has designed his children to be generous, to be lenders, and to be people who help others who are are in need. In fact, Proverbs 11:25 says that the generous not only will prosper, but those who refresh other people will themselves become refreshed. Because our lives are seeds that when we take action, those seeds are planted into our life and they reap a harvest of results. That's why when we were young, they told us, if you want to have friends, then you've got to be friendly. Every action you take is a seed you're sowing into your future. And people who are generous live with generous generous results in their life. And those who are stingy or hold back, those are the people who begin to lose everything because that's a harvest they're reaping from actions they've previously taken. In Acts chapter 20 and verse 35, the apostles are recounting the words of Christ who said it's more blessed to give than to receive. The Amplified Bible says that the person who gives is happier and more to be envied than the person who receives. If you parallel this with the story found in Matthew chapter 19, there was a rich young man who came to Jesus and said, I want to follow you and be one of your disciples. Jesus told him, you have to obey the law. And the young man said, I've done all that since I was a young man. And Jesus said, you're missing one thing. He said, go and sell all that you have and give it to the poor. Now, Jesus was not saying that this is a prerequisite for every person who wants to follow him. This was the only man that Jesus ever told to sell everything and give it to the poor. And the reason that Jesus did this is because he sensed and knew that this young man had an issue with the possessions and the money that was in his life. As my grandfather used to preach that this man didn't have great possessions, great possessions had him. And Jesus said, if you're truly going to follow after me, then you cannot let things control your life. You have to be the master of the things that are in your life. And the Bible says that the man went away sorrowful or sad because he had great possessions. Because when you live in that stingy atmosphere, in that stingy way, then and things control your life and it causes sorrow and destruction to fill your life. Did you know that if you want the help of God, then you have to be someone who helps others. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 13, that those who close their ears to the cries of the poor will not be helped in their time of need. In fact, in dealing with the poor, Jesus said, anytime you help any of these that are in need, that are poor, you are doing it directly unto me. Finally, the Bible says in Psalm 37 verse 26 that a righteous man is always generously lending to others and even his children will be blessed. Come on in. I'm just filming. I'm filming something real quick for a, thank you so much, John. I appreciate it, man. That's so nice of you. Thank you. Thanks, John. I have to laugh because as I was recording this video on generosity, I don't know if you heard my doorbell just ring, but my neighbor just stopped by to tell me that he has an overflow of seafood, steaks, meat that he just got and that he doesn't have enough room for it all. And he's bringing a whole box of fresh seafood and meat to give me in my house. It's just God giving us a sign that when we live in a generous way, the Bible's very clear. We ourselves will be blessed. Hey guys, thanks for watching again today. I appreciate it. And listen, I want to hear your thoughts and comments in the section below. And don't forget until next time, goodness and mercy are following you for the rest of your life.